You're damn right I do. What do you know about my store getting wrecked last night? Yeah, I didn't even know your store was wrecked last Don't night. Don't give me that, boy, and you can cut the Mr. Innocent routine too, because I wouldn't believe it in a pink fit. Now, I want to know who's responsible, and I want to know now. And don't give me any of those flaming fairy stories you gave me about the surf pub either. You're in this up to your neck, so start talking. He's off for your place, so it must have happened after that. Yeah, just the same as the surf club, eh? Only I don't believe in coincidences. You were there both times, and when I went to school, they taught me to look for the lowest common denominator, and from where I stand, you fit the bill perfectly. Lowest common denominator. Michael, oh, Al, just back off a sec. I know you're cheesed off. You've got every right to be. Well, are you on his side now, are you? I'm saying he's got every right to be angry, that's all. You reckon I did this? I can understand why. Oh, I'll man, I don't so. have to listen Jack, to that. Jack, get back here. Jack! Where's the fire? He usually takes it with him. Uh, I'm sorry about that. A small family problem. Uh, can I help you at all? Hmm. I'd like to rent a caravan. You sure? <laughs> well, I wouldn't have asked if I wasn't. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I'll get the book. I, uh, I think what he's trying to say is we don't get too many senators looking for caravans, Miss Walker. I, I caught you on the telly the other day. It is Senator Walker, isn't it? Mm, it's not quite senator yet. Yeah, it's pretty much a lay down the there the way the ticket's shaping, though, isn't it? Uh, I'm Elf Stewart, own the local store, and uh, this is Michael Roth. This is his place. Well, pleased to meet you. Look, I I'm not in the habit of turning business away, but in this case, I don't you think the Macklin Resort would be a lot more comfortable? <laughs> and who would I meet at the Macklin Resort? Here I can get to meet people like yourself. People I hope to have the privilege of representing. That's what I'm here for. I want to find out what's really going on in this state. Now, a caravan will do me nicely. Thank you. Right. Australia cannot afford a generation that lags behind the world. Mm. I can't even read my own writing. Oh, that's not part of the speech. I think I realise that. I have it memorised on the day. Um, okay, I've lost my place now. Grassroots investment at the school level is essential to ensure we meet the challenges of the 21st century with something or other. Marketplace competitiveness. I've heard it so many times I know it off by heart. <laughs> I still reckon you're trying to be a bit too highfalutin, love. Do you think there should be more of the real you in there somewhere? What do you reckon? Um, well, I think it's a really great speech, Selena, and I'm very proud of you. And right now, I've got to go. Thanks, man. I never said I wasn't proud of you. I know, you reckon I should be more myself. The only trouble is, I don't want to be myself. Not the old me, anyway. I want to be a bit more than that. You're really nervous about this, aren't you, love? Yeah, I I've never done anything this big before. Well, look, Shannon's supposed to be a whiz with words. Why don't you ask her to have a look over it? No, I, I sort of want it to be my own work, and besides, she's so worked up about meeting her mum and everything. I don't reckon she'd have time. She didn't show up. It was awful. We waited and waited. I'm sorry, love. Oh, well, probably for the best. I mean, nothing ever turns out like I expected to. Probably would have ended up hating her. At least this way I've got a reason to. I suppose Pippa was right. You know, from the beginning, she was worried about you getting hurt. Yeah, well, that's yesterday's news anyway. Do you want a coffee? Yeah, yes, yeah, thanks, love. Uh, listen, do you know where Pippa is? She's at the shops, maybe. Why? Ah, uh, I need to talk to her. A little bit of trouble at the store last night. Well, of course he had something to do with it, for God's sake. Am I the only one with two eyes and a brain around here? Yeah, okay, Al. Calm down. You wasn't a stroke. Well, don't you start. You sound like Al. Anyhow, it wasn't a stroke. It was like one, but it wasn't. Well, calm down anyway, otherwise you will have one. Yeah, so what am I supposed to do? Walk in here and see this and just laugh it off? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. I just feel a bit mean. Well, mate, I told you before, if you crook, shoot through. I can finish up here. No, I'll be all right. It's just a bug or something. Good. What happened to you? 
I was going to ask you mongrels the same thing. Sorry, Neil McClose. Sounds like our money isn't welcome here anymore. We better start shopping somewhere else. Not only your money that's not welcome, now get out of here before I thump the pair of you. Better be careful what you're saying. You never know what'll happen. Get out of here, you <laughs> pair of drop kicks. How do you know it was them? Well, of course it was them, mate, after the run I had with them yesterday. Couldn't help themselves, could they? Had to come back and have a gloat. You know, young Jack was trying to defend them last night. I'll bet he's met them somewhere. Um, you can use the, uh, the home science block facilities to heat everything, but we'll be serving it on trestles under the marquee. Now, there's a cycle open at one o'clock, so does that give you enough time to do everything? Hey, Donald, don't get him in a tangle. He's starting to sound like Selena. Well, I think we've got, uh, got an excuse to be nervous. It could be quite a lot riding on this. Believe it or not, Irene, this is the new face of public education going cap in hand to the private sector. And the schools that are good at it are the ones that will thrive. Uh, well, it shouldn't be like that. Yes, well, we live, as they say, in changing times. Look at them. That's enough of that, you two. Oh, mate, you're just jealous. Cut it out, OK? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Things are nice and uncomplicated at the moment, just the way I like it. Ha! I wish I could say the same. My life is anything but uncomplicated at the moment. I've got 101 things to do before tomorrow. So, I guess I'd better get on with it. Don, there's somebody visiting summer bay. Might do your cause some good. Oh, and uh, who might that be? Catherine Walker. Oh, the politician. And she's staying at the caravan park. What, in a caravan? Well, apparently she wants to mix it with the people. Catherine Walker? Well, uh, she'll, uh, she'll almost certainly make it to the Senate. Thank you, Stephen. Now, that is interesting. Yes. Yeah. man on a mission, huh? Well, I uh, can't blame him. Like you said, the schools have got to use whatever edge they can get these days. Yeah, but it's Polly's like her have taken all the money away from the schools in the first place. Have you ever read any of the stuff? Yeah, I have. It's pretty extreme, isn't it? What the hell is she doing here in Summer Bay anyway? I don't know. I reckon the courier would publish it if I could find out. Please, sit down. Thank you. Donald Fisher. Donald Fisher. Why do I know that name? You're the fire hero. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I hardly say hero. <laughs> you saved your school practically single-handed from burning down, if I recall. I wouldn't be so modest. Oh, I must say I'm impressed. Uh, you've obviously done your homework. A good politician always does their homework, Donald, and believe me, I am a good politician. Yes, yes, I'm beginning to see that. If you can't be bothered to take the time to learn a little bit about local personalities and issues before you visit an area, then you might as well get out of the business. Yes, um, you know, um, that's where I think we might be of benefit to one another. Now, if you'd come, you'd certainly give our parents' open day tomorrow a bit of a boost, and, uh, well, it would also give you the opportunity of, uh, of meeting the more influential people of Summer Bay. <laughs> You know, you would have made quite a good politician yourself, Donald. <laughs> well, you do have to be a bit of a politician to be a headmaster these days. And, uh, and I am quite a good headmaster. Hmm. I'm beginning to see that. <laughs> hey, Wilson. What? Alf reckons those morons you've been hanging out with are the ones who trash a store. Yeah, well, Alf's full of it. He reckons you let them in. He's got no proof, though, has he? You know, after what he's done for you. Then you're scum. Hey, I'm talking to you, mate. <laughs> 